A. Now, I would say formal greeting, formal being, but this video is going to be way too serious, so I do have to do a serious kind of uh, introduction. So, we're going to be doing a E.T. Doc tier list on all of the interviews that were made during the E.T. Doc in chronological order, so you can follow along if you if it's your first time ever watching the video, and I recommend watching that video because you you should have. So, we're just going to get right into it. We're going to start off with Victor. Now, I'm just going to throw them into the tier I think they're, they're going to be in, and then talk about them. So I think he's it's a B tier, because, now, he does do an incredible job at introducing the ET Duck and what it stands for, and the ETCU as a whole. But the problem is that his part is purely for the introduction. If he had a standalone interview, I think that would be great along with the introduction, because the introduction is just, he, he has to put his hands up if a policeman comes by in the cafeteria, but other than that, he, he just, I think he should have had an interview along with the first part where he introduces E.T. and who he is. Uh, yeah, that's really all I gotta say. He's a great intro part, but as an interview, not really great. So, next we got Nicholas. Now, he's in the S tier, and my reason is that he does an amazing job of introducing the song, My Man E.T. So, he's just great at what he does. He, he makes the interview amazing. He knows about the song before the song even came out. And before, before the viewer came out. Or the, the, before the viewer knew about the song. And it just, it brings suspense to the table. Uh, now we have this part. Not really an interview. It's just talking, I guess. It, it, like, it's six words, or like seven words spoken, so it's an obvious D tier. It, no, it's just kind of writing on a piece of paper, paper, and it's just my man E.T., and kind of the, the first measure of the repeating measure of my man E.T. Uh, now we have uh, whoever this guy is. Uh, hold on. Uh, I never heard of who that guy is, but... Seems like that's where he belongs. Uh, now we have Daniel. Now, Aaron is going to the A tier. He does an incredible job expressing his love for E.T. and his inspiration gained from E.T. through E.T.'s love of Kool-Aid, KFC, and watermelons. Uh, he even explains the backstory of how he met E.T. in his gym class, gym class uh, back in elementary school. Uh, he just he he's got the humor factor, and I think that's a very big part of what the ET Doc is. And yeah, great job. Now we come to Ricky, who makes a amazing rant on the Gaza Strip and the Palestinians and Israelis. But I'm gonna have to put in the B tier because he doesn't really. He doesn't really explain anything about E.T. He's more focused on the Palestinians, which is great, because if this was any other interview, specifically about Palestinians, then it would be S tier. But since it isn't, his Palestinian anthem just kind of goes to the bottom in this, in this circumstance. Any other circumstance, it would obviously be S tier. But right now, in the E.T. doc, with no, with one, one time, a singular time E.T. was said. It's just disappointing for the doc. Now we get Almer. He's going straight to the C, C tier. It's more of a humor, humorous part, but it's not really an interview. He gets cut, cut off by Jason, and he says some interesting things. But other than that, 
it was less it was more about Jason than than Almir. So it it wasn't amazing as an interview, it was just kinda comical. Comedy too, as some say. Uh now we have Brendan. Now I think Brendan could have had a great interview. Probably like a funny one as well. But sadly, the main antagonist, Gabe, got to him and slapped him with soap on his back while he was in the middle of being interviewed so from an interview standpoint it's just not great he just gets assaulted and that's really all that happens it it does a great job uh, showing you how the antagonist really is the antagonist but sadly it's just not an interview uh now we come to anthony now i'm gonna put him in the a tier because he does a great job of making someone feel good about who E.T. is. He has a great moment of silence to honor E.T. And it, it, it's just great. He just he makes you feel motivated, but without the intent of motivation. It's You have to watch it for yourself to really feel it. But now we come to the best and final, save the best for last interview. (laughs) And it's it's E.T. And the reason for that is because it's E.T. The doc's about him. Why wouldn't he have the best interview? He walks up to the phone and and slaps it out of uh, Artie's hands. And it's just great. It's really... It shows you... All the other interviews lead up to this point of E.T. slapping the phone and snapping his fingers and ending racism once and for all. And that's about it. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this interview, uh, tier list. And if you disagree at all, you're completely wrong and I don't care about your opinion. And that's about it.